Hi everybody, it's Sandra from Savvy Teaching Tips. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos um, and uh, don't forget to ring that bell um, to get updates about all of my latest videos. Today I'm going to talk about number sense games. And in a previous video I talked about what is number sense and how to explain it to parents. So today I'm going to just talk about a few games that you can use in your classroom to build number sense. Um, there's dice games and there's card games. So the dice games are pretty simple. I have jars and jars of dice in my room that I have got from the dollar store. So dice are not very expensive. And the first game is called um, Roll and Match. So you it's, this one's good for, you know, K and one. So you have one dice, so the highest number can get a six. So you roll the dice and then you count out mini erasers to match that number. Super simple um, and engaging. The kids love it and uh, they get a chance to play with it. And that prevents dice from bouncing across the room and rolling around. Now, I mean, if you want to reduce the noise, you can do it on the carpet if you have the space. I like the kids to work at their desk because it's easier to write when they're at their desk, but I have to understand there's going to be a little bit of noise, but any dice that come flying across the room, um, the kids get one chance and if it happens again, I get the dice back and they're given a different activity or a worksheet, something to do that's not as fun. So that usually gets them back in line. They have the dice, they roll the dice, they count out whatever their matching is. You can extend that by having them write down the number and draw the number of mini erasers. Um, you can add two dice, so then they have to count out that number. And it, it teaches them number sense, subitizing, and uh, addition and subtraction. All that kind of gets involved in the game. Or rolling three dice. I mean, you want to get bigger and bigger, and bigger numbers the older the kids are. So that's roll and match. The second dice game I like to call Dotsy. You know, like Yahtzee, but Dotsy. And they're going to roll, you can start with three dice and you're going to put them in numerical order. Or four dice, um, up to six dice, because there's six numbers on dice. So what they do is they roll the dice, shake, shake, drop, and then they try to sort them so that they're in counting order. Now, let's say they roll five dice and they get the numbers one, two, two, four, and six. One, two, two, four, and six. Okay, well, one goes first when you're counting. Number two is second. And now we have an extra two, so we're gonna pull that away. We don't need it. And then we have a four and a six. So one, two, four, and six. Now, um, this is where you can decide, am I going to roll that six again? Because I can't, I only have five dice, so I want it to either go one, two, three, four, five, or I want it to say two, three, four, five, six. So either have to roll the six or the one again. So I'm gonna take that six and I'm gonna take that extra two and I'm gonna shake them and put it and I got a one and a three. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm gonna put the three in. So now I have one, two, three, and four and now I'm shaking for the five. And you just keep rolling and rolling and rolling till you get the number five. Okay, so that's really simple. And the extension is you can add different numbers of dice to make it more difficult, or you can have them playing in partners to see who can get that last dice and win the game. Dif lots of different variations on uh, Dotsy. <laughs> All right, let's go to card games. So when, when you're using cards in math, um, I take all the face cards out because that gets too confusing and I I explain that the ace is a one. Oh, and I also get to take the 10 out. So I take all the face cards out, take out the number 10 because we only want the numbers one to nine and the deck of cards. And actually in my room, I have a big tub full of cards, um, various decks all poured together and that's how we use, that's what we use. They just grab out a stack make it no thicker than their finger, and that's where they get a deck of cards. So it's not a real deck of cards, but it works really well. So, when you're working with early primary, you wanna to try to put the, let's, let's give the card, let's give the kids um, six cards. I'm, not, I'm just gonna give them a random six cards, put them in order of counting. 
And of course there's numbers missing, but that's a skill, right? To figure out which number goes, instead of counting up to find the number, let's say I, I gave you five cards and they were an ace, a two, a six, and a nine, and a five. Okay, an ace, two, six, five, nine. So I gotta put the ace, then the two, then the five, then the six, then the nine. That's counting order. And if you have duplicates, you can, you can teach them a game where um, they put all the cards in a deck, then they flip over five cards and try and get it like with Dotsy, we're trying to get them in order and we're trying to get them right beside each other. So if we have that one, that two, that four, that six and that nine, well, that we have to decide now which cards are we going to discard so that we can try. And so I've got a one and a two. I might as well try for the three, four, five. I have the four. So I'm trying for the three and the five. So the six and the nine, I'm going to discard them. I'm going to keep flipping until I find that three and I find that uh, five. And then I've got my all in a row. You can have kids face off against each other. They each have their own set, but we're going to see, and we're each taking one turn at a time. We're going to see who gets those five in a row first or they're using one big set and they're still playing side by side. Lots of variation. So that's ordering number cards. Um, you can also make your own set of flashcards because working with deck of cards only works up to number nine. So if you have numbers to 100, that's perfect for grade twos. I'm going to give you um, six cards and we're going to see if we can put them in order or I'm going to only have the tens out and I'm going to see if you can get those in order by 10 or you could do it in order by five. Lots of variations because we're trying to figure out, you know, skip counting. We're trying to figure out um, if 40 comes before 50. Those sorts of things are all part of number sense. Third grade, numbers to a thousand. Why not? Another um, game that I use at the beginning of the year or with younger students is Go Fish. And you don't, for this game, you don't even need to, um, you can leave the face cards in if you want to, so the, the kids you know, get a chance to play with the face cards and the 10 in because, you know, Go Fish is really simple. Everybody is dealt five cards. You turn them over, you find any pairs, you put your pairs down and you're trying to get rid of all the cards in your hand. So whatever you have in your hand, you're asking somebody else if they have the same card. So I would say, Lisa, do you have a two? And Lisa might have a two, so she has to give it to me. Or she might say, no, go fish. And go fish means you have to pick one, the next card in the pile. Now, if the card that you pull is the card that you were asking for, you put your partner down and get another turn. That's a bonus of picking your card. But if you don't, that's great. Maybe you've made a different pair. That's fine. You don't get another turn because that's not the card you were asking for. But, I mean, there's lots of variations on this game. Um, but it's also, the, you know, building number sense, learning to identify numbers, all those things that the Ks and Ones need to work on. If you want to play Go Fish with, for grade twos and threes, if you're building higher number sense, then you're going to need to have cards that have numbers higher than that. And you'll have to make those cards. So maybe not as easy as just using a deck of cards. A really good way of teaching the order of numbers. So down below, I have a, um, a link to a freebie, some worksheets on number sense that will be really great and some games that you can play. Uh, that's all I have to say for today. So uh, thanks for coming by and watching my channel. Check out my Facebook and my Instagram at Savvy Teaching Tips and my TikTok at Savvy Teaching. Bye for now.